Hey, how you doing today? This is Ben with Studio on the Lake. This is the first. Uh, I've done a lot of power carving, but I have never actually done a video. So this is Carving 101. There's not going to be a, a whole lot of information in here, and I'm just going to go through a couple of micro carvers that I have. Uh, later on, I'll go ahead and go into the bigger things. So subscribe, like, and click, and uh, by all means, hit the bell to get the new videos. There's a... Uh, Well, the blue and the black, the uh, the blue one there is the newer uh, that I got a couple of years ago for Christmas. And it has a collet that it clips back and forth. It's a self-locking collet. Same thing with the black. That's about 20, 25 years old. I sent that in a couple of years ago to get the uh, bearings and the brushes replaced. That's the whole gig right there. Ultima uh, PGL makes it. It's a small organization out of uh, Minnesota. They use a lot of the same microcarver tips. They're they're not as well known as some of the bigger ones. When you're using uh, hardwood, like that cherry there, power carving is, is a nice way to go. It's a little slower. For demonstration today, we're going to use a piece of basswood just to make it simple. So there's a blue hand piece. has a cord attached to it. Again, uh, has a collet in it. That one has an eighth inch collet, and then you can change those collets. And it has 0 to 10 on the right side of that uh, Ultima control box. I run everything pretty much at 10, unless I'm running a cutoff wheel or uh, the bit's chattering quite a bit. Then I'll go ahead and, and run that down. So there it is. Pretty much straight through. Changing tips. That first one I had on there was a, a ball, or not a ball, but a, uh, uh, a flame. And here's an elongated uh, flame. A little finer line. Uh, as you can take a look at that, see that's fuzzing up quite a bit. Bird carvers don't like basswood, the professional ones. They like tupelo because it won't do that fuzz. I, I can live with the fuzz. I just have to run one more bit. There's a bit that came with a er, right off the shelf at the store for a Dremel. It's the square cut through. I go ahead and buy those. They're cheap, three to five bucks. That's a Dremel cutoff wheel. Uh, they make uh, diamond cutoff wheels that you can get uh, for those. They have a tendency to bend them, so I try to stay away from them. This is where I will use the safety glasses that you see, but I, I always have a stack of these because they self-destruct. These I will, will run around five, which would be half, so I don't know, do the math. 40,000 RPM, so 20,000. And I think if you probably looked at them, they're, say, uh, not rated for over 10. But uh, again, that's a Dremel attachment. And you can use a Dremel for power carving. It's just a little bulky in your hand. This is more like a pen. Uh, they will set you back three, four hundred bucks for the set, I forget. So it's a little pricey going in. And it, it can, if it, it will get hot and shut itself off. Here's my older one that I've used for 20, 25 years. That has new new bearings in it and a couple years ago works just like new i actually prefer the other one it has a 332nd call in it for the smaller bits a lot of the bits come in 330 seconds there's a couple of other sizes so if you get into it and you start buying bits make sure you get the one that fits or you have a call that you can change i don't like to change collets these are the two primary bits i use so i leave a eighth inch in the blue and a 330 seconds in the uh, other this is supposed to be a feather, and you're going to have to forgive me for my autistic license here. Uh, as it goes along, it's going to look more and more like a leaf. But this is a quick down and dirty uh, of the different parts and pieces. And I suggest you hang around till the end, because this is like, only about eight minutes long. Uh, I'll run through all the bits in, in, in a photo where you can actually see them. This is a ball. A ball, the benefit of that is it can go in any direction. You notice I kind of plowed a furrow. Uh, around the outline of that thing. This ball allows me to go any direction I want. This one just happens to be a, a steel uh, ball. They also make them in ceramic and ruby in a couple of different uh, other different uh, incarnations. You can spend a lot of time taking a look at uh, those online. Go to some place that, ha that, that caters to power carving. Amazon has a few of them, but they don't have the full selection unless you know what you're looking for. I've got a bunch of links down in the description down there where you can pick a lot of these up if you're 
interested in that. Now we switch to the old black uh, Ultima uh, handpiece on there, and I'm using a yellow uh, this time. Yellow is a cuts all, and yellow is supposed to be fine. I, I find the fine cuts uh, pretty aggressively also, and uh, the other colors they make, yellow is fine, green is aggressive and then they've got a new one now which is red which is supposed to be uber aggressive I, I don't and have not tried don't have any and haven't tried any of the red uh, I suppose I, I will just for the heck of it when I get around to buy a new set you'll see the set down in there uh, take a look at another video it's got uh, the setup beside my chair I'm using the uh, wood burner on the left hand side it's one of the reasons I like the Ultima setup you can buy the burner separate you can buy the motor handpiece controller separate but it's nice to have the two of them there together uh, sitting side by side it gives me two with the two controllers now I'm really happy with that I get uh, two two different uh, wood burning pit tips in there a pretty big aggressive and a fine one I'll run usually and then I got the big bits and the smaller bits and the, and the two different sizes this one's a ruby I like the ruby. It's, it's like fine sanding. They tend to last quite a while. They're a little pricey, uh, 20 to 30 bucks a bit. Uh, so these things you definitely want to take care of. Uh, if you knock that handpiece off and they hit the floor with the 332nd shaft, it'll bend just enough to throw it out of whack. You notice I'm going along the edges of this feather, uh, pretending to be a leaf. And you notice how fast. That's actually real time. There's nothing speeded up on this. I just run the shape down through there. Put the uh, barb for the feather down the middle. And then I'm going to come back with the burning pen and lay that in. That's one of the finer, the finer ones. There it's laid in, laid in pretty heavily. I'm going to switch back to the uh, the black with a small ruby ball, which allows me to uh, follow right along those lines. So. Those burn lines, are talk, they look like a stop cut if you're doing uh, regular wood carving. The secret to that, as we've said before in a couple of beginner videos, is stop cut. Well, that, that uh, burning acts like a stop cut. And I'm taking away uh, the material on either side of that barb. I can use a finer uh, ball or a different flame shape and really get that feather down. Now I'm kind of running uh, quickly, very quickly. Uh, down into a feather shape and I'm only going to do the one side. Those are where the feather splits would be off on the side there. I did that all with that uh, ruby ball. You can use this like a pencil. It is dust intensive. You, you should really have a dust collector. Uh, I do. It's called a vacuum cleaner but I, I don't like to run it. I tend to spend a lot of time blowing uh, dust off of things. Now this is a ceramic and when you hear someone talking, a bird carver uh, myself or someone else talking about the feathers are burned and stoned. This is stoning. Stoning will give you a real fine hair uh, or feather like. This is a steel uh, diamond, small diamond flat that I use for cutting hair and fur texture. And that does the same thing that stone does. I really prefer the stones. The stones tend to wear out pretty quick. Uh, that one I had is a German one, a Proxima from Germany. I love those things. You get a pack of them for, uh, at the time, five euro gave you 20 of them. And, and it takes me a year or two to burn through 20. So you, you've shaped it, sanded it a little bit with the ruby on that, and you're coming back with the uh, wood burner. There's the two of them sitting together. Check out my workstation uh, in another video. That's it right there. And it sits right beside my chair. And when you look at the other videos, you'll see me uh, filmed from a stump primarily in front of that chair All right, here's your money shot right here saber tooth. Those are here's the two new ones that I didn't get These are all uh, flames and uh, they're different shapes ruby and diamond and uh, There's another bunch of those most of those are I can't tell three thirty seconds There's a quarter. These are actually the eighth inch there. Those are cuts all bits a little bit bigger and burrs back to uh, here's some of the micro ones you can get a micro set you'll see that in a little bit these are all diamond those are 
standard Dremel tool right out of the shelf. You got to get them to unlock the case because they're afraid. Those are ceramic stones, uh, different shapes, and I use those for shaping feathers primarily or putting uh, fine lines like a veiner in there. Uh, the Chinese or uh, overseas version of these are, are real cheap. You get a set for 20, 30 bucks, and I find they work just fine. There's a diamond wheel. Would probably be better and not burn as much as the one I've got. That's my favorite, uh, rubies. Very pricey. Again, another ruby. I, actually, I think that's a white oxide stone. That's a white oxide stone. And I, I use just the tip of that. I really don't use the mess, rest of it. Very small, fine uh, burr. <coughs> that would cut feather shapes. That's a real fine... Uh, it'll cut a line in there. It's a pretty aggressive, uh, almost a rasp setup. That's an eighth inch. These are new. and I haven't tried these. They've got some kind of cuts all makes them and... I forget what they call them. Uh, these are quite aggressive and they vibrate quite a bit, but they'll remove a lot of wood. And there's my favorite right there. Those are uh, the diamond set. Another standard of mine, that's the green. I like that shape. That's the less aggressive. The yellow is uh, not as aggressive as the other, and that's a pretty aggressive bit right there. I've got a few of those. I forget the name. I'll put them down in there. I don't know what the heck that is. Uh... What's neat about these is if you get them close to your shirt, they will uh, wrap up in your shirt and uh, stop the bit. This is the new one. You guys said you got yellow, green, and red. Red is new. Green is used to be the coarsest cut, yellow being a fine, and that red one is in there now. So there's the uh, setup, and thanks again for the, That's a quick one on there. I'll be doing a wood spirit here shortly uh, with the power carving tools, so go ahead and subscribe. And uh, hey, thanks for watching this, Ben.